Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan, and today I am going to be doing some cleaning, a little bit of light cleaning, a little bit of deep cleaning. So I hope that you will be inspired and maybe even clean with me while you watch this video. I know that I love to clean and watch inspirational videos, and so that is why I made this video. What you're seeing me do now is separate all the library books into a pile so that we can take them back. Juliet brought me a book to read, so I thought for a second to read it to her, and then I jumped right back into what I was doing. This counter, we actually had special made when we built our house, and it is amazing. It's an area that holds all of our homeschool stuff, and it can also be a huge 16 foot long catch-all if we're not careful. I love this vacuum. It has so many different attachments and these cabinets have like, I don't know how to describe it, like legs so crumbs and dirt can get underneath them. I have no idea who designed them that way, but it definitely adds an extra step to trying to clean. So that vacuum, I put the little like handheld attachment on it and I can get into the small spaces under the cabinet and I find some really fun stuff under there. So just a note, that vacuum is awesome. I didn't splurge to get the cordless one, but I don't regret it. I don't mind dragging that cord around and saving like 150 bucks. Um, so maybe one day I'll get a cordless, but I don't even know where I would hang it anyway because I have never even hung the one that I bought up. Like I haven't ever bought the extra piece that you can buy to hang it up. Do any of you guys have the cordless vacuum that you hang on the wall? If so, where do you hang it? In the garage, in the laundry room? I don't have any extra outlets in the laundry room, so I would have to have a new outlet installed, even though that would be ideal. We run our dishwasher so many times a day that I've actually been doing experiments on different cleaners that you can use and use less than what they recommend. So if you buy the powdered cleaner, I found that you can use only about a tablespoon and it still gets your really dirty dishes perfectly clean. Does anybody else try to do that? Even with like laundry detergent upstairs, I use less than what they recommend. Um, I feel like they recommend that you use more than you actually have to use. Maybe, maybe they don't do it on purpose, but maybe they do. So anyway, I even tried buying some of the dishwasher tabs that are eco-friendly and um, more natural and I broke them in half and tried running the super dirtiest dishes that possible in the dishwasher to see if they came perfectly clean and they did. So that is what I am doing and it pretty much cuts your dishwasher bill in half of how much dishwasher detergent that you buy and so I thought I'd pass that tip along to you guys if you don't want to pay extra for the more natural dishwasher tabs or if you haven't been able to in the past maybe if you only use half of what they recommend that you're using maybe you could afford to buy those or just buy the regular ones and try to use half it definitely wouldn't work with some of the tabs you would have to make sure that you could break them in half and they were there wasn't liquid inside of there because then that definitely wouldn't work does anybody else do that does anybody use less than what they recommend to try to save money and also not compromise the cleanliness of your dishes or laundry, but just know that it gets perfectly clean with less. I think that it's a great way to save money. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if any of you guys do that. And you know, you might wanna try an experiment with your detergent, dishwasher and laundry to see if you can use less than what they recommend. So what I am doing now on top of um, cooking supper is cleaning out this giant corner cabinet. This corner cabinet is amazing because it holds a ton of stuff. 
but the downfall to that is things get lost back there. So I am going to switch it up and move the things that are up there down lower so it's easier for me to get to everything and move my plates and bowls up. Why didn't you put your plates and bowls up there to start with, you might ask? Well, because, <clears throat> excuse me, I have so many little ones that help me load and unload the dishwasher that I really like to put everything low so that they can reach it. I made these chicken breasts the other day. They were pesto chicken. The pesto didn't have as much flavor as I wanted it to, but it had a good flavor. It just needed like a little more seasonings. So I decided today to take the leftovers and add mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, garlic, and salt, and heat it up in the air fryer. I've only lived here four months. It's already that dirty. There goes that one. I decided to go ahead and try the plates and bowls a little bit higher. Most of my children who help me can't completely reach it well, but they can at least reach the bottom shelf and put the rest of it on the counter for somebody who is taller to put up there. And as you can see, this bottom like turn shelf is such a better idea for all of these ingredients so that it's easier for me to get to everything. I just could not make it work in that corner cabinet. So we will try this for a while and see how we like it. I am just doing some random organizing all throughout here and refilling stuff and organizing pantry stuff. These are split peas. I'm just putting some new packs in the bottom and putting the older ones on top to try to keep things rotated properly. I am also going to be going into this cabinet. This cabinet is all full of the china that was my grandparents and stuff like that. And I'm trying to put the stuff that I don't use as much in that corner cabinet top because that is an area that I will not be needing very often and I wanted this cabinet to be a little more easily accessible so that the things that I do use more often I can get to easier. So I've only lived here a few months and I'm still trying to figure out how I can make things work best for me and this is just one way that I'm doing that. So you'll see me carrying stuff back and forth, back and forth, trying to get everything in a spot that I like it so that I can use everything that I want to use and put the things that I want to keep, but don't want to use as much in a harder to access area. All of these dishes are really old and special to me. So that is why I'm keeping them. So about once a month, I pull all the drawers out and I just wash them in the sink. And that is what I'm about to do now. As you can see, when you pull the drawer out, you can look under there and see that there is all kinds of grossness. So it's a really good idea to pull your drawers out sometimes and wash them. Normally, when I'm cleaning out my fridge, in my old house, I used to take all of these pieces and I would easy wash them in the bathtub. I did that several times. And that's a really good idea if you have a bathtub close to your kitchen. However, in this, in our new house, our bathroom on the ground level doesn't have a bathtub and we don't have a bathtub in the master bedroom. So I am just gonna do this in the sink. I do have one of those big sinks with the no, I 
don't know what they're called, but it's big sink. It's gonna work out. Um, this, I, I've never been able to get this out of my fridge, nor have I been able to get this piece of glass out. Do you guys know how to get this out? There's gotta be a way. I've never been able to figure it out. So like all this disgusting stuff that gets under here, I've never been able to clean it, but I've come to terms with it and it's okay. So what I do is I'm about to spray the whole fridge, and then close the doors, wash everything, and then I'll come back and clean the fridge after it sat for a while. Favorite all-purpose cleaners is this Miss Myers. I love this, I think it's called Gar Geranium. Geranium one, it smells like flowers, I love it. And then the Thieves all-purpose cleaner, this thing lasts forever and so does this. I think I order a two pack of these, it used to be a three pack, but inflation. And they're like five bucks a piece and these last like six months for two. And then this one lasts, I think, about six months too. So I use these together. I just switch it up occasionally. Today I'm gonna use this one because I think the refrigerator needs some um, germ killer. Instead of tearing this top piece off, I just put a little hole in it. And then I take my old bottle, really fancy. I bought some glass bottles at one point in my life and the kids promptly broke them or maybe I broke them, they got broke. I switched to these. These used to be like all purpose cleaners in here. So just put a little bit of this in, probably like a cap full, and then I fill it up with water until bubbles start coming out of the top. Don't run it too fast or else it'll really fill up with bubbles. Ah. <laughs> Braid. And now it's a race against all the food getting warm. So, I gotta wash all these dishes now. Not perfect, but way better. True trim helping on the fashion. The bottom of my freezer is full of okra. All right, so I tried to organize to stuff I need to use up. Up here, I found some cookies, some bananas. I've got my protein bars here. These are papayas. These pecans are about a year old. Cranberries. This is all the stuff that make spinach, ginger, I have my celery and cucumbers frozen back there. I have a couple bags of oatmeal prepped. And this is mostly meat and flowers and baking stuff. Oh, and I have a little thing of pesto here. And all of my, there's some of my pre-soaked beans and some hamburger meat and salsa chicken and garlic. And there's collard rice. Here is a refrigerator. Oh my goodness, I feel so accomplished. And real quick, let me show you what I made earlier and I forgot to film it. But I made four loaves of sprouted whole wheat bread and then I made four loaves of half sprouted, half whole wheat. Okay, so I guess it's half sprouted, one fourth whole wheat and one fourth all purpose flour for the children. And I just preheated the oven because I am about to put all of this in there. I know that it is a lot of work to deep clean, but oh my goodness, how good does it feel when you are completely done? Anybody else buying hair bows <laughs> while they're cleaning and then at the end of the day when you go to go to bed, you have like 15 hair bows in your hair? Just me? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm finished cleaning. I am so thankful to have all of that behind me. I'm so thankful to get all that done. I will be going grocery shopping tomorrow, so I'm about to sit down and make my menu plan and grocery list for the month, which is no small feat. And it's 4.15 and I have a date tonight with my husband at six o'clock. So I still have to get ready for that, but I'm gonna do what I can tonight and I can always finish in the morning before I head to the store. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encouraged you to get some cleaning of your own done. And I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and see you in the next one.